welcome to Headlines today. I'm Anna M.M. Vettikard. I'm at the Abu Dhabi Film Festival and my guest today is someone if, well, if we made a film on her life, chances are most of us would say, not possible. However, she is living proof that sometimes truth is more fascinating than fiction. She's made the journey from being an aspiring model in Mumbai to being the toast of international red carpets within, I think, less than two years. Frida Pinto is my guest. Frida, welcome to Headlines Thanks, today. Thanks, That was a beautiful introduction. Thank you so much. And I just watched a very nice film starring you here at the Abu Dhabi Film Festival. How did you manage? Do you, did you ask Julian Schnabel why he thought of casting an Indian girl in the role of a Middle Eastern girl? He said that somebody told him that there was this girl in Slumdog Millionaire that you should probably give her a chance. And she looks a lot like Rula, you know, so why don't you, why don't you, Rula, Rula Jabril, yeah. who I play in the film. Um, so um, he watched the film and he said that every time he watched um, Frida get hurt in the film, he thought Rula was getting hurt, you know, and he just thought the similarity was uh, very, un very uncanny. So he gave me a chance and he put me on, uh, asked me to audition. Do you have a position, though, on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Uh, oh, I've always maintained I'm an actress, I'm an artist, and I'm not a politician. But if you ask me, do I feel for these people? Yes, I do. I mean, it's a human story, so I definitely feel for these people, for people from both sides, actually. Having been to Israel, Palestine, and, you know, having met soldiers at 17, 18, the Israeli soldiers, having met Palestinian children at the age 17 and 18, you know, I mean, it's so, it's so similar. There's not much of a difference between them. It's just history that I guess divides them. Okay, but the film industry that you inhabit right now, which is Hollywood, um, is very different from the Hindi film industry in one uh, respect, which is that a lot of the time you fee find Hollywood actors actually stating their position on political issues, uh, which doesn't happen very often in the Hindi film industry. You're so a newcomer. Will you find that hard so to I guess deal it's with? It's high time someone took a stand for the human issue, right, instead of just taking a stand for the political issue, which is why I still stand by what I just said. I feel there are a lot of people taking care of the political side of it. Um, some of the actors in India support the human side of it, and I'm on their side. All right. Yeah. Um, it's been now, what, how many years since you started um, your journey in the film industry, would you say? Mm, I started in 2008. Yeah. You know. But do you sometimes <laughs> pinch yourself? Because, you know, a lot of people, I mean, of course, there are people who become major stars. But in your case, it was just a very dramatic and very unusual journey, right? Well, I, I, I think it, it was, definitely. I mean, uh, it's, to, to many it sounds like a fairy tale story, but there's a lot of struggle and a lot of um, hard work that goes into it, not just before I got Slumdog Millionaire, but actually more so after I, I did Slumdog Millionaire. Because a lot of people thought things would be easy, but I had to really work hard in order to, um, to, to, to let people know that I deserve the first you know, the first uh, achievement or the accolades that came with it. You always wanted to be an actress, right? But when you were thinking about your career, did you ever think in terms of international films or were you always thinking about Indian films? Well, this is one, one um, area of discussion where I always get misquoted or, you know, misunderstood. Um, being born and brought up in India, you know, I obviously had uh, a lot of exposure to Hindi cinema, to Indian films. So yes, I did really highly appreciate all of them um, and still do. But I never really focused on being a Bollywood celeb star or actress or a Hollywood actress. I always aspired to do films that came from any part of the world, as long as it had a beautiful human story that I could you know, con contribute whatever I could from my end. And I think that's the more important bit. As a human, you want to be able, as, a, as an actor, you want to be able to be in touch with the human side. And uh, which is why I think I have not been, uh, not been, not just taken up everything that has come my way, but I have been a bit picky 